Okay, I'm gonna make another one of these shafts. I thought you guys might like to see how it's done. This is a low speed shaft. It doesn't have to be precision balanced or anything like that. So all you gotta do is get those two shafts parallel to each other. And it's pretty simple to do. I want a half inch offset. So what I've done, this is just a chunk of shaft. There's another chunk of shaft that's had a notch cut out so I can get it over a half an inch. And then right in here, I have a piece of half inch bar. This is just a piece of strap clamped to the side of the workbench. And everything here is just clamped down in that position. That bar keeps that parallel to the fence. This is pushed right up against the fence so it's parallel so by definition the center lines are pretty darn close to parallel. Now what I'll do is I'll heavy tack this side, let it cool and peen the weld a little bit while I wait for it to cool. Flip it over and heavy tack that side, weld it, flip it back over, weld this side. and. You wind up with that. Okay, well that testing the other day showed I wanted this machine to operate between about 100 and 170 RPM. And I can only get it down to about 170 RPM. So I needed to reduce the speed by about half. And the only way I could figure out how to do that without doing a whole lot of other stuff and in the space required is what's known as a jack shaft which is this right here. This mechanism here is exactly the same as it was before but now the engine drives this larger pulley here that's roughly a two to one reduction right there this is inch and seven eighths that's four and a half so a little more than two to one reduction then this is the same size pulley that's on the engine, so it's going to be turning a little less than twice, you know, a little less than half as fast as the engine is, and then it's driving the actual machine. And here we have the uh, machine operating with the new jack shaft. You can hear the engines in a nice power band. We're getting good action in the tub without a whole lot of craziness going on. There's your gear down right there. It goes from too slow. To determine that those 60 degree slopes or roughly thereof on the sides are quite useful. Uh, vertical sides do not work nearly as well. You get more agitation and convection. With those, it just kind of goes up and drops back down without turning it over. The uh, front side, I tried a temporary vertical front side and it seemed to do roughly the same as the horizontal one, I mean in the, the, the slope one, but I don't know, it didn't, didn't make a whole lot of difference. And the uh, partition there to drive to feed underwater is now easily removable without tools. It took to the uh, new water distribution manifold. The hoses coming in from the top go to the water distribution manifold which means you can pull it out easily before cleaning out the last of the concentrates. You can get to the plug easy. That just made a, a number of improvements there. The old 
original setup, that water distribution manifold covered the drain plug. And in order to get that out, you had to get the dirt out. So you had to catch 22. First you had to empty it so you could pull that so you could empty it. Seems a little bit counterintuitive. So there it is. That's the latest information I have on this. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.